Good morning. It's Friday and the sun is shining. It's really bright and beautiful today. How do you pray? How do you do that? What is your goal when you pray? I'll talk about that in just a second. So many of us have some really strange ideas about prayer, what it means and what we're supposed to do with it. I think sometimes we think that God is a genie in a bottle, that we can somehow rub this bottle and he leaps out and grants wishes to us. I think in a lot of our lives we would like that. We sometimes think we know what we want and we know what we need. And we don't necessarily always understand that that might not be the case in our particular situation. But talking about prayer, what do we do with that? Did you know that when we pray, that's not to inform God. He already knows. It's to invite God to interact in our life because he's a gentleman. He doesn't just barge in unless it fits his divine purpose without us wanting him to be there. He respects us and he wants us to desire fellowship with him. And did you know that prayer is also not to change God? <laughs> God doesn't change. Prayer is to change us. So prayer is to invite God to act in our life and prayer actually should cause us to change our perspective. I think a lot of us really have the notion of prayer turned on its ear. We think we're telling God something and we're expecting him to change the course of events into what we want. Now, I'm not saying that God doesn't hear our prayer and change things. Of course he does sometimes. But it's like with prayers for healing. Should we not pray for that? Well, of course we should. But we also have to understand that God may heal us immediately. He might heal us gradually, but he will indeed heal us ultimately. Whatever that might mean in your life. Sometimes I've seen a lot of prayer requests on Facebook and places like that. And, and I always try to chime in when I see one and say, yes, I'll pray because praying is important. But remember when we pray, first we should acknowledge who God is and then what he's done for us and thank him for those things. And then we bring our petitions to the throne. Sometimes I think we expect God to interact in our life and do what we want, as if we have some notion about how we're supposed to make things happen and how what would be best. You know, folks, we really don't know what's best, do we? But I'm glad we serve a God who knows what's best. He'll do the right thing. He'll do the just thing every single time. When you pray to him, remember who he is. Have faith in him. Have faith that he'll do the right thing and realize that, you know, that right thing might not be the thing that you actually want all the time. And that's pretty hard to swallow, I know. Sometimes it is, but sometimes you can't see the big picture, but God can. And aren't you glad? Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Be kind to each other. See you next week.